Hi everyone, Jason here from spiritualbabies.net and you've tuned into another episode of In A Nutshell in which I attempt to answer a missionary claim within five minutes. Today we are looking at this. Did God divorce Israel? This comes uh, mostly from a specific line and that line is in Jeremiah 3.1. The Christian argument is that Jeremiah 3.1 proves that God divorced Israel and that Israel went after a second wife and that the Torah in Deuteronomy 24, 1 through 4 backs up the concept or in fact lays the foundation for the concept that if a wife is sent away, finds another husband and is divorced from that relationship, that wife can't go back to the original husband. That's the argument. Why does that matter to Christians? Because they say that if God then dies and comes back, he's a new person and can then for remarry this bride. But there are a few problems with this. One, the Jeremiah passage isn't a historical fact, meaning it's an allegory and a parable and a story and it's meant to paint a reality or a concept for the listeners. What does that mean? It means that Israel isn't the wife of the Creator, it's his chosen people. He specifically pulled Israel out of the nations to be the light to the nations. They're there to fulfill a certain purpose and that purpose has been the plan from the beginning. It's not like he didn't have a master plan and know where this was going to go. Jeremiah 3, 1, isn't a surprise to him. He understood that humans are fallible and that there was a journey to go through and this is part of that journey. Secondly, Israel is many different things in many different verses. There is a son and a daughter and a wife and a husband and there's just a million different things in relationship to God and the world and other people. You can't just read this um, verse and say, well, the parable says it's a wife, so it must be a wife. And I mean, that just doesn't make sense. Thirdly, it is an allegory. It's not real. It's just a story. It's a way of uh, making a group of people. And then remember, this was specifically something that Jeremiah was asked to say to Israel. It's not for the world. It's for Israel to hear. But the biggest issue with this argument is that the verse that's pulled to prove it is never given in fullness. So I'll give you an example. Jeremiah 3 1 actually reads like this. They say, if a man divorces his wife and she goes from him and becomes another man's, may he return to her again? And the answer according to Torah is no. It carries on. Would not that land be greatly polluted? And what's the pollution they're talking about? Well, it could be a number of things. It could be mothers who are coming back with their wombs holding children which aren't is Israelite children which come from their previous marriage or carrying beliefs and faith structures which aren't of Torah they're of something and somebody else and Jeremiah goes on to say but you have played the harlot with many lovers God through Jeremiah is acknowledging that Israel has played the field a bit regarding their faith and um, who they follow and that's why we have this amazing line of prophets that stand up and say you need to come back and sort yourself out. Now that's generally where the Christian leaves it, where the missionary stops speaking. But there's a, that's not the end of the verse. <laughs> and if you read it to the end, it's really awesome. It says, yet return to me, says the Lord. So we've got this picture in which God through Jeremiah is saying to the people of Israel, people that understood the clauses in the Torah, and he's saying to them, imagine if you divorced your wife and your wife went off with other lovers and then returned could you take her back how bad would that be for you to take her back imagine the distress and pollution and distortion that would bring to your land and your social structure and your faith and the way you're supposed to do things it can't happen but you can return to me that's the promise that's the amazing promise that god makes and it's worth remembering that God gave his Torah to Israel. He didn't create a Torah for himself, to govern himself. But it's not just there. In Jeremiah 3.4, Jeremiah 3.5, Jeremiah 3.14, 
if you are having a conversation with a missionary or a Christian and they bring up the Jeremiah 3 1 verse about the divorce, just ask them to open their Bible and read out the whole verse and it should answer all their questions. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have a subject you'd like us to cover, then please message me and let me know. You can leave a comment under this video. Only one in four people that watch these videos are subscribed. Uh, that means that three out of four could be missing other content that I'm putting up. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thanks very much for watching and we'll speak to you very soon.